So what exactly causes global warming? It's a pretty simple concept. As the sun bombards the earth with energy, much of that energy is naturally reflected back into space. It creates a nice average temperature on planet Earth. As we release CO2 emissions into the atmosphere, it creates a particulate barrier. So much of the sun's energy, instead of being reflected, actually hits this particulate barrier and is bounced back to the surface. So in essence, it's like a double heat. Climate change only begins with the term global warming. Global warming is a term that's controversial, it's political, it's debatable. But let's look at the real reality, the in-your-face reality, the reality that you can't deny, pollution. Four-fifths of all CO2 emissions are caused by man-made burning of fossil fuels. Nearly all the rest is caused by deforestation and related events. The proof is in the pudding. Look out your window. Look at the haze. There is no, de no denying the fact that pollution is the real issue. Now, if we could collect all that pollution and pipe it into one single location, it would lead to an experiment that's called the bathtub effect. What you see here is what scientists call the bathtub effect. It's a simple experiment which translates extremely complicated planetary data into a very simple visual effect. How much can the bathtub hold? How much can the Earth's atmosphere hold? As we speak, over 9 billion metric tons of CO2 are being released annually into the Earth's atmosphere. The drain on the bathtub will only absorb about 5 billion. It's a two to one ratio, and it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that it won't be long before the bathtub is overflowing. Okay, let's talk about where the CO2 goes. The Earth absorbs about five billion metric tons of CO2 annually. One third of that is accounted for through plants and vegetation. About a quarter of it is accounted for through deep ocean absorption. The rest, about 45% stays airborne. That means it has nowhere to go. It just keeps circulating and circulating. And it stays in the air for a long time. So how long is a long time? Generations, millennia. And that's just not gonna work for me. Come on, people. We can do better than that.